Hey, I'm Scott. I'm Danny. And we're teammate. And we're hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. Live. Let's talk about the new single to start okay. things off. Uh, Nothing's ever over. Yeah. Uh, what is what is the idea behind this track? Uh, the idea behind the track is kind of based on our history together, um, because we used to date and then, and then we became friends and now we're a bandmate. Um, so I think the idea was just like the continuation of our friendship and how we continue to evolve, but kind of with like a more universal thing. It's not just specifically about us. Right. Yeah. And the song is su is sung in unison, so it's both of us kind of like just getting it out there together at the same right. time. So it's kind of like the vibe of the song manifesting, I guess, right? Yeah, I think our songs have always been a form of therapy for us. Mm -hmm. So it's, this song is one of those therapeutic songs. Now with this song, I feel like it's a little different from your previous stuff. I feel like this one's a little more dancier on the dancier side. Uh, the other stuff was more poppy, if, if uh, that's the right term to... Yeah. Sure. Uh, I think... I think we both kind of like when songs have both sides of like light and dark and mm -hmm. like we're not really trying to be a downer about the situation right. at all. We're kind of optimistic about where we've been and where we're going. And so I think we like the music to reflect that, but we like the lyrics to have, you know, a little bit of mix of light and dark. I think the track has a little bit of a mix of light and dark. So it's not right. just all super happy or all super dark. Yeah. And we're working on the lyrics. How do you guys really sit down and, and create uh, your songs? Um. You know, there's a lot of fighting and just of, kidding. Like, fist fight, not even <laughs> arguing, like <laughs> fist <laughs> fighting. It's like. pretty brutal. Uh, no, we kind of just come up with the concept and then we just kind of uh, just kind of workshop some ideas together and just, you know, it's. Do you want to talk more about that? Just kind of like. I mean, like, I hate writing lyrics. Oh, it's I like it's. Oh, I hate <laughs> Danny. No, she hates I me. Hate right. She hates right. me. So yeah. just yeah. to just to let you guys know from the beginning. Uh, I really hate writing lyrics. Yeah. I mean, I like the finished product and I'm proud of it, whatever, but like the process. Yeah. And um, I used to like really belabor lyrics, but like now that we're writing more together and all the new stuff is like 100% together, or maybe mm -hmm. it's 50%, I don't know how to word that correctly. Yeah. But um, we, um, <clears throat> I've kind of just been going more with like, what sounds good and then and then we kind of we start with like what sounds good and mumbling and just kind of like like nothing's ever over as a title was just something I like mumbled and then right. went back and was like oh that's actually a cool title what could it mean right. then we work together well, to we like both, we both kind of like write based on our instruments too so I'm a drummer and so I I like things that are very rhythmic and I like melodies percussive. that are rhythmic and percussive and I like that sort of vibe um, when I'm writing right and Scott comes from I a place like tuba, where so I right. like things that so. sound a lot like Sousa marches yeah yeah no he's kidding no <laughs> <laughs> there's no tuba in, <laughs> no, <but it's> <laughs> no tuba in this band no it's true uh like Danny's ideas tend to be more percussive and rhythmic and mine right. a little more melodic and and but you know it's it, yeah it's just that's kind of it's really collaborative and that's the fun part about that we've had creating the new music right and when you guys are creating uh it's just the two of you um as far as the band goes, is there any other outside sources that help out, maybe for guitars or for anything else, or is it just strictly you guys and then whoever the producer may be? Uh, well, it's all self-produced, and everything on the record's played by us with the exception of a couple live bass tracks. Mm. Um, all the stuff's written, just the two of us, except for one song. We had a friend, Nate Campany, who's an awesome writer, come in and co-write a song with us. Um, and then we have it mixed. And so I think that's basically the chain of creativity that right. so it's it really starts on the laptop in the apartment and um, then we like go to the studio but it's and do drums and do vocals and but there's no guitar in the band there's like sometimes some live bass mm -hmm. um, but other than that it's all synths and drums and programming. And what was the reason behind doing the music that you guys are doing right now? Why didn't you guys want to go for you know a full band or a solo project or you know? Well, the band, we never set out to really create a specific band or a project. We just kind of naturally fell into playing music together. We were together in a relationship for a really long time, and we never, um, we never played music together until we had broken up. And so it kind of just became this thing where we started slowly just sitting in. I would sit in with Scott on some solo gigs and some cover gigs and a long time ago, and then it just kind of turned into, wait a minute, we should make this a project. And then we just kind of like the dynamic of just the two of us. Mm -hmm. And so since he's a keyboard player and I'm a drummer, we just kind of kept it, all right, what can we do within that realm of our of our instruments? And so that's kind of what it became. We 
those are the instruments we're comfortable with. You know, neither of us play guitar, so we didn't necessarily feel like we needed to reflect that sound in our music or anything. I think also, like, both of us have had experience being in bands. I've done solo stuff, and and that's all good. You know, it was a good experience, but, like, when we started making music together, I think we both matured and evolved in a way individually and also together that we, it was kind of a no-brainer. Like, yeah. I knew exactly what she likes, she knows exactly what I like, and it's just like when we put it together, it's just the influences that are like in our Venn diagram of influences, like this little middle part. Right. Um, uh, you don't know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know what the, no, did I do that. this? Yeah, don't do that uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I said Venn di diagram. I'm sorry about it's, everything. It's all good. <laughs> I'm glad you got your education, though. I don't know. I'm not happy with that <laughs> answer. <laughs> I have pie charts and other graphs, During not just choir. Venn diagrams. Yeah, <laughs> I have like a whole presentation. <laughs> this is how this is how the songs get created. <laughs> Leave them in the car. We don't. Yeah. Not this interview. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> Leave them at home. Now you did mention you guys uh, self-produced your record. So whenever a producer comes in to the picture, uh, he tends to put the artist in maybe an uncomfortable position or to try, you know, different things that the producer hears that you guys might have not, you know, thought of doing before. So how do you guys challenge yourselves when you guys are working on this collectively? Well, Wait, well, first of all, I think a producer could also be a she, yeah. <laughs> just for the record. <laughs> it can be tricky sometimes because Scott and I um, come from very different places creatively. Mm -hmm. So Scott is not only coming into our recording sessions as a band member, he's coming in as a producer. So whereas I think a drum part should be a certain way and should have a certain feel, Scott the producer may completely disagree and it can be tense and it can it can cause kind of like a disagreement and we might have to take a break in recording to like talk it out outside so we don't like make anybody feel uncomfortable inside the studio when we're yelling. But um, <laughs> for the most part, it's, it's tricky and it's a balance and we, I feel like we challenge ourselves even more since we're self-produced than maybe if another producer came in because just emotionally it's really difficult for us to kind of separate ourselves from the band and have like a more kind of um, unbiased sort of yeah. opinion. I think that said, like, I mean, we're open to working with yeah. other producers, but it's just right. right now the dynamic just works really well. Like we have a pretty clear vision even though we have our disagreements on the way, we have a pretty clear vision of like what we want things to sound like. Right. So just getting there, it's just some give and take. I paint half my face as like bandmate Scott, and I paint <laughs> half my face as like as producer Scott, and, and then, then like we like fight and I like turn my face depending on what role I'm playing. Like walk through the studio doing the tango with yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so which side gets uh, punched the most? Well, <laughs> it's pretty uh, equal. It's pretty equal. <laughs> <laughs> there's right hooks, there's left hooks. I'm a real tough guy, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So we've we've been hearing the the track, which uh, is awesome. The video for it is awesome as well. Thanks. But Thanks. are we going to expect a sequel to the sequel um, <laughs> that dropped in 2013? Are there any plans with that? Uh, we're, we have a full length um, in the works, and uh, I don't know what the release plan is right now. But mm. we have we have it all done. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have it all done, and we're yeah, yeah. we're we're just gonna figure out like keep releasing stuff and right. content and just see where we are so yeah, yeah. and we're keep we're still writing to try to be what we have so right it'll be out there it'll get out there soon it was vague vague it was vague yeah. we're coming for you someday you'll hear music but <laughs> but aside from the sequel though uh well actually since the sequel you guys have just been releasing like singles um do you feel that's been the best way to release music nowadays I don't know, really. I mean, it's really tricky. I think the thing that your any band is vying for right now is is to get people's attention, and you're right. all fighting for attention. It's not about, unfortunately, it's not about selling music. It's not about anything really other than just like trying to get people's attention and then keeping their attention. Mm -hmm. And so, the idea of putting ten songs in someone's face of a band that they might not know yet. It's just, right. that's a little, I mean, that's it's hard for me to listen to 10 songs yeah, right, right now. Um, everyone's attention spans are so split. So but I then it's also hard to just listen to one and then want to hear for, you know, right. some more. I think th that's why you build like a body of work and right. then like they can go through and, and see that we've been releasing music for a while. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I, you know, it's a lot of bands are still figuring it out as they go. So luckily we have a good team behind us to help us figure it yeah. out. So you guys actually have a great team. Uh, how did that relationship happen for, for you guys? Mm. Scott can answer that one. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Uh, I've known Benji, the CEO of Rostrum, forever. Danny has too. Mm. And he and I have worked together on other projects that I've been involved in. I was in a band for uh, a while, and at the end of that band, Benji got involved, and Rostrum was just starting out. And he helped us shop and put out um, a record with that band. And then I did a solo project, but... I just never really love being solo, and, and that solo project. We're a clown costume, and it's yeah, like it we whole, didn't want to talk like about a magic it. Element. Yeah, that's what we were getting yeah. at. It's oh, like it's really embarrassing. And that's why I was kind of like, yeah, you know, I didn't want to tell you, but <laughs> I'm an illusionist. <clears throat> um, no, so this solo thing, and yeah. I wasn't like 100 percent on board with that, and then that kind of morphed into like Danny playing drums mm-hmm. with me on the solo stuff, and then were, yeah, that yeah, came out right. of yeah, then teammate kind of came out of that duo thing and then right. we pitched the idea to Benji of like right. what if we did like a band project you know the two of us and we had the name and we had sequel was the first song we had done and we mm-hmm. presented the song and so yeah I think it's been just part of an evolution uh, within ourselves but also like with the label as they've grown right. we've been able to grow so it's been a really good relationship and Benji's insanely loyal and supportive yeah, yeah. it's been great it's been really good. Every Monday you guys are going to be at the Satellite for a residency show. Uh, what can we expect for these shows? Well, it will be a different set every night um, for the most part. Yeah, we're Some changes. Working some on some new songs, yeah. uh, covers, mm-hmm. and uh, we have like a couple old ones we're going to put back into the set and yeah. just try some stuff. But we have some great guests, um, other yeah. bands that are on the bills mm-hmm. that uh, we're super excited about. Satellite's been awesome. We have a friend DJing in between the sets, and it's just going to be nice. like, it's, gonna be it's just going to be good vibe, yeah. good scene in LA, right. and it's Mondays, and it's free. And it's a good way to start the week. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. Or end it, depending on or like when it. your weekend yeah, starts. It depends guess, on yeah. how your right. calendar runs, yeah. yeah. The music video is awesome. Lots of lights, lots of, lot of like, you guys are pretty much dancing while you guys are performing. Um, is that what we can expect when you guys are performing live? I'll be sitting down playing drums. But you're so still dancing. Yeah, I'll be moving a lot. Yeah, a lot of robot. You're dancing on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, it's not like, it's more like movement than dancing, that isn't it? a lot more like karate. Yeah, that's a little karate bit of... Karate is movement. This is the, under the umbrella of movement <laughs> is karate and dance. <laughs> Those are just two right. things. Like A little bit of Venn diagrams and... You can expect all, all of it at the <laughs> residency. It's like all karate is movement, but not all movement is karate. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> yeah, I got to go too. I think my next interview is about to start.